Welcome. This problem set is about amplitude modulation or specifically double side band with carrier or what's called also full AM. So let's go to the challenge. Let's go to the problem and see how much we can do. We have one question and we need to focus. A carrier signal, the carrier signal is given to be uh, A cosine omega CT is modulated by a single tone message a single tone signal which is given by a times cosine omega mt to form an amplitude modulated signal the full am signal is given by the following expression ac plus am and then times cosine omega m everything is multiplied by cosine omega ct we are told in the question that the carrier amplitude the added amplitude ac is equal to 10 and then the amplitude of the original message is equal to 2. The frequencies for the carrier and the message are also given. So what's required? There are four requirements. The first one says sketch the signal, S of T, show all important values on the sketch, sketch the modulated signal, end time. The second part, sketch the magnitude spectrum of S of T, end frequency, of course, magnitude spectrum. And then in that sketch, make sure that you show all values or imported values on, on both axes. And then uh, it says, what is, the, what is the bandwidth required to transmit this AM signal? And calculate the power efficiency. You can pause the video now and take the challenge. You can pause the video and take the challenge. Once you are ready, you can run the video to see the answers. Basically, uh, to, to what's required in the question is we need to sketch the following signal. All I have done is just substituted the colors shown with the values shown with colors here. 10 is AC, 2 is AM, and then we have the carrier frequency multiplied by 2 by, of course, this becomes 100 by, and then we have um, 20, 2000 by. So we need to sketch this in time, to sketch this in frequency, find the bandwidth and find the power efficiency, which is what we're going to do next. So we have to sketch the following expression, the following signal. To get an idea about the time scale, I'm just looking at the period. So if we look at the period, we'll find that for the carrier of frequency FC, then the carrier repeats itself every one millisecond. And then for the case of the message, uh, the message is having a frequency of 50 hertz. So its, its period is 0 0.02 seconds. That will give you an idea about how much time you need to sketch. So if you start focusing on the requirement here, we need to sketch, this is a sinusoidal signal that oscillates between a minus 2 and plus 2. This is just a cosine signal that oscillates between plus 2 and minus 2. Now, if we add to it 10, it's going to be between 12 and 8, or 8 and 12. So if, if I try to sketch here, this is the axis, this is the time axis. Then just to, to sketch the sinusoidal signal, it's a cosine, so it starts with the peak. It goes down, and then up again. I'm just taking one period, for example. This is going to be 12, and this minimum is going to be around 8. So the center point is the amount of addition that we have, which is nothing but 10. So this is the expression here, that we have the 10 in, the bit, in between, which is the center value. If you want to sketch the double side spectrum, then basically what you need things multiplied by cosine. I will have the mirror image of this. And then fill everything inside with the carrier frequency. It's multiplied by cosine. So just to illustrate that the carrier is much higher frequency than the original signal, the shape will look like this. Okay, so of course, this is not drawn to scale, but just to, give you, to get an idea about how the shape would look like. Next, I will show you exactly. Of course, from here to here is one period, which is going to uh, second, if you like. That's the frequency of the message. And of course, we can get an idea about how much uh, this is not to scale, but we can tell how many carrier cycles are inside. 
if you want to have a more exact sketch this is drawn with a, a special software so these are showing two cycles two periods okay this is one and this is another one so we start from minus 0.02 to plus 0.02 which is the period of the time so we have two periods in the message and then of course it goes from 12 to 8 or 8 to 12 the variation 10 is the center point this is a mirror image and the carrier is filling inside uh, so this is a more of formal exact sketch the next requirement is to sketch the spectrum to sketch the spectrum our axis is going to be the frequency and we can we can start with the frequency of the message like we did in our examples so this is basically at uh, we'll have two deltas at plus 50 minus 50 and then when you scale it when you multiply it by the carrier it's going to be uh, shifted to a uh, frequency of 1000 so we have 1000 plus 50 thousand so we can just go ahead with the sketch so we have two deltas here and then two deltas here the original scale is going to be two of the cosine so the spectrum of the message let, let's just get the message here uh, spectrum this is 50 this is minus 50 okay and the amplitude is one and one here and there is a delta here with a scale of 10 that's the message spectrum if you want to sketch the double side spectrum then we get here uh, 1050 this is uh, 950 here similarly minus 1050 minus 950 the amplitude here from 2 to the spectrum it becomes 1 and when we multiply by cosine we get another half this becomes 1 half 1 half and then for this delta in the middle it's going to be 5 so this is the spectrum of the message plus the DC and then the shifted version of the spectrum is shown on uh, the sketch below of course you can just continue the sketch with the this is the sketch this is the magnitude spectrum so this is capital S of F if you like of course once you get this you can we can solve easily part uh, part B of the question that says find the bandwidth the bandwidth is the difference here so it becomes double side the original spectrum the, the original frequency was uh, 50 so you expect the bandwidth to be 100 Hertz 100 uh, Hertz yes or for, you subtract these two values 105 minus 950 and that would give you uh, from here to here the bandwidth is is going to be um, 100 the last part here we're, we're done with A B and C the last part is to find the efficiency to find the efficiency uh, we, we just need to recall the equation for the efficiency the efficiency is defined to be P on the sideband divided by the power on the sideband plus the power on the carrier uh, and then we have the, the percentage you multiply by 100 to get percent so what's the power on the sideband the power on the sideband equal to one half times the power uh, one half sorry times the bore in the message the bore in the message is nothing but its amplitude squared over 2 so you get uh, 1 half times amplitude squared over 2 which is four, 2 squared over 2 which is equal to 1 the power in the carrier equal to again it's equal to the amplitude squared over 2 so we have 10 squared over 2 which is equal to 50 so now if we substitute back into the equation we get the efficiency equal to 1 over 50 plus 1 in terms of percentage uh, in terms of percentage it's going to be 1.9 something I'll just let's use the calculator here just to give the exact number so we have uh, the calculator gives you 1 divided by 51 which is equal to 1.96 percent 
as expected, the efficiency would be a very low number because the amount of addition is relatively large. With that, we're done with the example. Thank you for being good listeners. I hope that you got uh, most of this right. So please share with us in the sections here, in the comment section, how many of these three or four uh, parts you have got correct. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thank you very much.